Now, if you go out and buy a Windows laptop, there's a very good chance that it's gonna come pre-installed with yours truly, McAfee antivirus. It's a bit of a meme at this point, one of the first software that everybody likes to uninstall once they get their computer. But today, I wanna to put it to a test. How bad is it really? And to do that, I have a list of malware, as you can see on the screen right now. This is the most infamous ransomware. There's 50 of them. These are specifically threats that affect critical infrastructure. So things like links, for example, targeting power networks. We've got dark side, colonial pipeline, trying to take out the oil supply, major, major ransomware. And we're gonna run it from a network location and try to see if it's able to block any of this behaviorally. Is our system gonna be destroyed? Is our data gonna be encrypted? So in order to check that, I have some pictures from Jurassic Park, fittingly, and some Shakespeare's plays that we don't wanna lose. So we're gonna run all of this on the system using a little automation script I've built called Malix on the desktop. And we're gonna see what happens. Will McAfee protect us? Or will we have to uninstall it? like the good old John McAfee showed us how with his amazing video. So I'm going to type in a little command that's going to run all of this malware on the system. And I want you to watch carefully what happens. Let's demonstrate. Here goes nothing. And that's not a good start. A lot of misses over there. Um, proactive, well, McAfee has a lot of misses. I wasn't planning to make that joke, but we're sitting at a proactive detection of only about 28%. And it does seem like a lot of ransomware is executing on the system. I don't know what's going on. Phobos.exe wants admin privileges. Why not? We do have McAfee backing us up. Now we have AnyDesk installed on our computer. This is a remote control software allowing hackers to see what you're seeing and uh, do what they wanna do on your system, cause why not? But more importantly, our system seems to be really hung up cause there's probably a lot of encryption going on. <laughs> And we already have a black screen, so that didn't take very long at all. McAfee still wants us to check out our offer. Maybe that's part of the issue. We didn't really take their offer. So now we have a cascading layer of command prompt windows that seems to be hell-bent on destroying this computer. There's no end in sight so far. I don't know if I have to put up an epilepsy warning on the video because of this now. And the mouse cursor is also moving in a specific pattern. I don't even think I've seen this kind of behavior before because this ransomware usually gets blocked in my other tasks, but not this time. McAfee thinks it's good to go. Now I have a few hunches on what's going on here, but uh, I wasn't expecting it to go this badly, honestly, considering these are well-known ransomware. I mean, they should be in the signatures, but I'm guessing McAfee doesn't really scan network location, which is where we're executing these from. I guess it's more popular in enterprise to do that. This is a consumer product, but still, you would expect all of this ransomware being as infamous as it is, that it would be picked up in memory at least, or behaviorally when it's doing the encryption. But uh, yeah, it looks like that's not part of McAfee's routine. The system seems Seems to be completely gone so there's really no utility in waiting i don't see it getting any better so i'm gonna do a quick restart and we'll do some damage assessment see how our files are doing was mcafee at least able to kind of isolate the encryption protect our documents for example but this is quite funny right I guess if it's not your computer. <laughs> now, while the system is restarting though, I wanna show you a little something about McAfee and their business model. So if we go ahead and try to buy one of these solutions, let's say we want the essential product, right? It says it's $39.99. It says it's only about 3.33 per month, which seems reasonable. But then if you wanna renew it, the price is $95.99. And I believe in the US, this is $120. And then it also says price subject to change. So when you buy this thing, you're automatically signing up for a renewal at a price that they choose. So it could be 100, it could be 200, it could be 5,000. It could be anything they want. And unless you cancel it, they're going to charge you that. So it seems very much like they're counting on older people or people not so tech savvy, not checking this out and not knowing the renewal price and just having that money taken from them without even realizing. Isn't that a great business model? I mean, that's almost as extortionate as the cyber scams that they're supposed to protect you against. Now, meanwhile, our system is booting up, so at least no boot sector virus. But we do have files waiting to be burned to disk. This is another classic ransomware thing. Readme file onto disk, because it's placing those files everywhere. Microsoft Copilot's well and good, that's good to know. But our desktop seems obliterated. If we open one of these infos, it says all of our files have been encrypted, payment instructions. Oh and I can't even open Windows Explorer anymore because uh, the shortcut's been 
deleted. Can't open this item. There's always Windows E. This is a bit of a shortcut for you guys. And let's see what we have in our documents folder. And of course our data is encrypted, but what's funny is it's not encrypted once. It has been encrypted multiple times. It's probably still happening by different ransomware. So Lockbit seems to be the winner of this ransomware versus ransomware contest. So it started off with Avos, Cryptid, Babook, Lynx, QQ.com, Acute, and then Lockbit. So the ransomware have fought it out and Lockbit seems to have been the last one to get the final encryption. And it also seems to have won the contest to take over our desktop background. Lockbit 2.0, your important files have been encrypted. So there you go. That is a pretty decisive result. Now our pictures are the same. This is interesting because um, you could just throw in like a protect folders feature at the very least. And these are worse results than what I've seen with Windows Defender, which is the default protection that comes with Windows. So needless to say, I would not recommend running McAfee antivirus, no matter what the circumstances. I hate trashing any product because I'm sure they're good threat researchers and malware analysts working at McAfee, but the cons consumer result is basically this. So <laughs> I, I think you can see for yourself. So definitely follow John McAfee's official instructions. I'm gonna leave that video in the description to uninstall McAfee if you have it on your system for whatever reason. If you want a better security program, there's way better options out there. You can watch the videos on the channel. I'm not gonna name anyone, but do watch our other tests and you will find that many other security programs are far better at defending you against things like ransomware. And I really hope that none of our critical infrastructure is running this software because <laughs> as you can see, it's pretty much toast. It's not even opening anymore. It's just given up. But hey, Windows still has its ads coming at us. But seriously, do like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Do share this information with your friends, your family, anybody who's not very tech savvy, because you never know. I mean, some people are clearly paying for it. That's why this product exists. Somebody's paying $40, somebody's paying $120 a year, and they might not even be aware. It just comes pre-installed with their system by default. They just fill in their details because they think they're setting up their computer for the first time and they don't want to screw anything up. And then year after year, McAfee's collecting $120 to do this, basically. This is 2025. You have no process scanning. You have no behavioral protection. And you're selling this as a premium upgrade from Windows Defender. But thank you all so much for watching. Hope you had fun. It's always fun to see systems getting destroyed as long as it's not yours, I guess. And if you did, do stick around for the sponsor. Now, personally, I'm not a huge fan of the Apple, Google, Microsoft monopoly on data. So it's always good to see solutions like Internex, the sponsor of this video, which is a privacy-focused suite of data products. Now you can store terabytes of data on this. So it's perfect for your machine-wide backups. As you can see, I have my own drive over here. Works just like Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive. It's got a desktop client. You can even use it to run machine-wide backups. Now you may be wondering how much I'm paying for this monthly. Well, guess what? You don't have to pay anything per month because you can get a lifetime plan. And if you use the coupon code, which is PC85. This is an exclusive coupon code that'll be valid. It's going to give you an 85% off regardless of any other site discounts. Now they're also adding other products into the suite. They've got a VPN, AV, Mail and Meet coming up and it's all protected by zero knowledge encryption, which means even they cannot look at your data. Plus it's open source and audited. So if you're looking for a backup solution, cloud storage, definitely check them out using link in description. And of course, thank you all so much for watching. This is Leo. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.